Dearest, how are you doing? I hope you're great. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this trendy crinoline fascinator. If you're just joining me for the first time, please do click the subscribe button and get set to be empowered to create world. Trust me, you would enjoy this video. If you love the view already, give me a thumbs up. So first of all, I'm going to be telling you who won our last week's challenge if you haven't watched it please do click the link above and watch how to make this gorgeous crinoline fascinator so the winner is olaria wadju olufunke congratulations so please do contact us in the link below the vent craft academy reception and collect your gift to attend the vent class of um, fascinator class one for free so let's get into today's tutorial so here are the items we're going to be making use of here are the items you'll be making use of your scissors, then your measurement tape, then you'll be making use of your crinoline. Now this is a 2.5 to 3 inch width crinoline and I have 4 yards here. Okay, so you can use 2.5, 3 inches, 5 inches, then you need your needle and thread, then your Alice band. Not the thin one, that should be the one inch to 1.5. Then I didn't know which glue I was going to use, B6000 or Uhu, because I wasn't so certain on the accessories yet. See all the accessories that I'm bringing out. That's what I do most times when I'm trying to design. I bring out different accessories that I could make use of. These are all of them that I brought out. <laughs> I'm sure you see what I used finally. Then I brought even fishing line, just in case I was using those accessories as well. But finally, this is what I made use of, that flower trimming. So the first thing you want to do is to knot, as in the edges of your crinoline, you're going to tie it together. That's what you're going to do first of all. So keep watching and learning. Then once you're done, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start, you fold the crinoline into two, okay, into two, as in the length of the four yards, and you're going to start doing running stitches, okay, so it's a whole long length, so I didn't show everything, I just showed different parts, and there are reasons why I showed the various parts. So before we get into the next part of the running stitches, keep watching and learning. Now, just in case that while you're making it, you discover that your thread cannot reach the end. This is what you do. You just take it through it like twice and then give it a good knot so that it doesn't loosen. Please take note that you will need to iron your crinoline before you start using it. It helps to remove all those folds. You know most times the crinoline is folded is in a roll. So you need to iron it so it's smooth and straight and I think it also helps it to curve. Keep watching and learning. Okay, so I've done that. The next thing I do now is get another needle and thread and I start off. Now just as you start, you end it, you're going to start off that same way in that you're going to take the needle and thread twice. You take it in, take it through the same part again so that it's firm and it doesn't loosen. So you continue your running stitches all the way to the end of your four yards. Now if you haven't attended Crinoline Masters class by Devent Craft Academy, you're missing and you really don't want to. In our crinoline masters class, we make you a pro in the use of crinoline. You will get to know how to do various things, like how to change the color of crinoline, the various types of crinoline, how to make roses, feathers, hearts, fascinators, ruffles, and much more. If you're interested, do check the description of this video. You will see the Vencraft Academy reception link. Click on it and make your request. Trust me, you won't regret it. Once you're done with the doing running stitches on the four yards, the next thing you need to do is knot it again, just like how you started. Okay, once you're done with it, if you want the same measurement, how wide mine was, the measurement you're going to use is 21 inches. So I'm going to be... Um, joining it 
in 21 inches like you see me once you take it like that because it has been ironed it will just curve like that can you see it's curving and taking shape like that so it should be the ironing and also the um, running stitches that helps it to just you know take its place like that so i'm going to sew it at that point like so keep watching and learning <laughs> Once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is take the other part that is left that is not sewn. You're going to start sewing it round. Now, when you're sewing it round, you're going to be taking it lower inside and lower than the previous curve that is already there. Just keep watching. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Then when you place it there, you're going to do running stitches around so i guess if you want to change the style you can also take it up instead of taking it down you take it up and do running stitches and this form actually can get you a heart really probably i would do that sometime soon but we still have some more videos that i'll be putting up i'm sure you've seen them in the community post and you've already said you needed that so i still have some more coming up so if you want to see more lovely videos unique designs ensure you've subscribed to this channel so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on taking it round and round. Each time going forward down in, but leaving a space up so that you'll be able to see the loops in. If you keep watching, I'm sure you will get the hang of it. So I'm going to keep quiet so that you would understand how I'm placing it. And the running stitches, when you're doing the running stitches, you're ensuring that you're capturing the one underneath it. Do you understand and making sure that you're not doing the running stitches too up so that the thread is not visible you're capturing the last layer of the previous one that was there so i'm going to be taking it all the way around till i finish with my four yards so keep watching and learning while you're watching and learning do take note that the links to the materials that were used are below i have amazon aliexpress and the telegram link so you can go there if you can't find them in your local store and place your others When I got to almost the last place, I actually could now turn it a different way and it was even became much easier to sew. So I did that and I wrapped it up as you can see.
it on you want to place your alice band on your mannequin head and then you please place the crinoline you have just sewn round like so what would we call this really spiral crinoline do let me know in the comment section below then i'm going to use remember i told you there's a material that covers the alice band so that's where i'm going to use to take my needle and thread vi through it so that it helps to hold and then i take it through the crinoline also front and back and sew it directly on the um alice band just watch i should keep quiet i think watching this would give you an idea on how to do it best with that side you take on the next section also and so like you can see me do i keep quiet again Okay, so here is how I cut off the cut out the designs, the flower pieces of the flower trimmings. First of all, I checked it actually to be sure that it could close up. And if you see later on, I used some pieces also to close. And I made use of uhu gum. Now, because it's not stone, if it's stone, you use B6000. If you don't know which glue is best to use, please do check the description. I'll be dropping. Um, the link to the video that I made concerning the various glues you use for particular um, things that you're doing in your millinery journey to help you out trust me okay so once I was done, that's why I made use of um, uhu gum in this instance and this is how I placed it round so keep watching and learning <music>
that's how I made this gorgeous trendy crinoline fascinator. Now the question for our challenge today is how many trimmings or pieces of accessories did I bring out that I didn't use? If you want more points you can also see the color and explain it very well that's not point if you want to be the one that is selected as the winner and the winner gets to attend fascinator class one in the Ventcraft academy for free now if you have enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up and you have if you haven't subscribed please do click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and then check out this also trending crinoline fascinator